Welcome back to Gunning Down a Dream. I hope everybody's doing well today and this video finds you well. My name is Brandon and we're back again with another video. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to everybody and a big huge thank you to everybody that has subscribed to our channel so far with the comments and the likes and the, the views. It means a lot to me. Uh, this is a passion of mine. Um, a very big Second Amendment advocate. I'm a firearms enthusiast. And, you know, there needs to be more support for the firearms community right now because there's a lot of people out there trying to push to take our rights away from owning certain firearms and certain firearms accessories and different things like that so we've got to continue the fight and the pursuit for that not to happen because we are protected by the united states constitution and our second amendment right so all of the anti-gunners out there they're getting mad and upset and aggravated because a lot of things are going on in the world right now. There's a lot of civil unrest and a lot of unjust things happening right now. And they want to blame it on the particular firearms that could be used in these instances when really it's not an issue with the firearms. It's an issue with the individuals that possess the firearms or the individuals that are using the firearms. It's not actually the firearms causing these different issues and there's different types and styles of firearms ranging from pistols, rifles, shotguns, um, going all the way around the trifecta of the, the three gun principle with those three uh, types of platforms that I just mentioned and just because a particular firearm may look intimidating to some people or they may not like the way that it looks or something about that they're basing their opinion on how it looks and what they think it does based on how it looks so that's not a very good basis to form an opinion on a firearm or a gun if you do not have the knowledge behind it and all of this ties in with today's video i'm going to be a doing an unboxing video on a rifle it is the Smith & Wesson M&P 10 Sport chambered in 308 and we'll go ahead and get the the ghost out of the room the letters AR does not stand for assault rifle there is nothing in definition where that stands for assault rifle it stands for Armalite rifle it is a manufacturer that initially started manufacturing these types of firearms a long time ago to be used by United States military and different policing agencies and stuff like that. And then you have different people that have taken advantage of these firearms and stuff and they've used them in malicious ways or used them inappropriately. And that's giving these different people that are anti-gun different bad connotations when it comes to these firearms and how they look and different things like that high capacity magazines and drum magazines and different accessories that can be gotten and used on these firearms so I wanted to go into a brief summary on that and touch base on some of those topics right there um, as that does hold a significant importance in the firearms community and the the advocating of firearms and these different types of firearms that we are legally allowed to own in the United States that is protected by our Second Amendment right. So we're going to go ahead and get into this unboxing video. I'm going to reach down here right now and get the box. Here we are. This is the packaging that this rifle came in. Um, and as always on this channel, the firearms are checked, inspected, 
and empty and that will also show on this video that there is no ammunition in this rifle or a magazine at all so let's go ahead and get into the uh, video here you can see the packaging here right here on the front of the box uh, m p by smith and wesson and the most important part about this it is made in the united states right there you see the american flag on that made in the united states shout out to smith and wesson for keeping things over here in our country and producing awesome firearms for us to use making them user friendly and making them high quality smith and wesson offers a lot of different varieties of firearms out there and I've never had a bad experience with Smith & Wesson. They are a solid concrete company. They are a solid concrete manufacturer in the firearms industry. And I really love a lot of their different offerings that they have. So let's go ahead and do an opening um, of the box here. It is kind of big and bulky. So excuse me for that. Um, here we go. As we open it, we've got the foam inserts that is coming in the packaging here. Um, in this particular firearms box, it does come with the user manual. Again, this is the Smith & Wesson AR-10, M&P-10, whatever you want to call it. It is chambered in 308, so it does have the instruction manual here to go over different things that you may want to look at and review. Um, it does come with one of these gun locks right here, the cable lock, a 15 inch cable lock. Um, in my opinion, there's a lot better options out there if you're choosing to lock down a firearm than using these types of locks. Um, they come in handy for like a situation where you need to just lock it down real quick uh, maybe at a range or in different types of environments but if you have a gun safe in your home or something like that then you really doesn't then you really don't need anything like this in my opinion um, because it is a hassle to try to get these undone and out of the mag well or out of the barrel um, it's also going to come with a mag pole this is a, a P mag um, this one here is uh, a 20-round magazine um, made by PMAG right here. Um, there's a lot of different variations of magazines that you can get. We'll get into that here in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and sit the box down here in front of me. Let's go ahead and get this rifle out um, again. Uh, as you can see, the rifle is flagged and empty. I couldn't, I can't find my chamber flags. I need to pick up some more, so I've been using zip ties, um, run them through the mag well or on handguns, running them through the barrel and mag well both if need be. Um, so far, I think that this is a really beautiful, beautiful rifle right here. Go ahead and give you an up close view on that right there so you can look at it we'll go ahead and rotate it around here um, i i do like the rifle um, i think it's it's really a beautiful firearm um, the only thing right out of the box that i will say personally myself um, is the plastic handguard that comes with it um, that is interchangeable. This platform is a very uh, interchangeable platform. You can add a lot of customization, accessories, and basically pimp out your firearm however you want it to make it look nice and neat. Um, and to have a lot of offerings with a lot of nice features, accessories, and stuff like that. I'm going to personally be changing this handguard out to the M-Lock free floating uh, handguard. Um, that way I can have some different attachments on there. And so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, again, it looks like it's very well built. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the chamber flag or my zip tie as I said. 
got to release the charging handle let that drop forward right there um, on that I also would like to change out the charging handle um, to get one that's a little bit wider personally um, just to have that where I can do some blading and stuff like that um, and it's got a safety right here the ambidextrous safety you can switch that over to uh, either side um, left or right handed um, so that's a plus right there um, it does have a six position telescopic stock on it so you can have that in six different lengths whatever fits you the best um, I'm gonna go ahead and reach over here um, in just a moment to grab a couple other things I'm gonna show in this video so it's got a uh, uh, partial Picatinny uh, rail on top of the gas block right here um, and it does have the swing swivels on it right there um, it comes out of the box with the A2 suppressor um, right here on the let's see um, it has a the, the hand guard here is considered mid-length um, so when I go to change this out, I'm going to have to get a low profile gas block um, to go underneath the free floating M-lock rail or hand guard that I'm going to be putting on there. And um, it's also going to be a little bit longer and closer to the barrel. Um, so this has the armorite finish on the interior and exterior on the rifle and on the barrel as well um, the firing pin is chrome it is chromed out on the firing pin right here you've got your dust cover um, that i want to get something decorative on there or a sticker or maybe even a different dust cover to go on that it has a 1 in 10 twist on the rifling um, you do have the full Picatinny rail on the top right here um, and it has the ambidextrous safety selector as I mentioned the ambidextrous magazine release and the ambidextrous bolt release as well on both sides you've got these right here your safety your uh, mag release there your bolt release um, so far I mean I think it's really nice it does have the mid-length gas system as well um, I'll show you some of the different you can have some of these P mags you can have a 25 round P mag they have windows in the magazines some of them don't whatever you prefer um, They've also got 20 round magazines that you can get as well. That one does not have the window. Um, and then they also have the uh, 10 round. The uh, 10 round, I'm gonna pull this one out of the packaging here. Um, 10 round magazines here. So again, this rifle shoots the 308 or you can do the 762 by 51. This is a 10 round magazine right here personally. Um, each of these Magpul P mags, they come with a dust cover. Um, sh huge shout out to Magpul. You guys are killing it in the firearms industry, continuously making new awesome products that are user friendly and just high quality. Um, I can't say enough about Magpul. They offer a lot of different nice things. To bring to the table when it comes to the firearms industry um, all the way from parts and accessories and stuff like that you can get different parts you can get different magazines different shoulder straps um, and, and they've just got a wide variety of stuff so again another huge shout out to magpul um, i love their products um, also let me go ahead and get this put back um, so with the particular rifle having the armorite finish um, being a hardened nitride finish that's going to provide enhanced 
corrosion resistance on the firearm right there and it greatly improves the wear resistance um, you know with the decreased surface roughness reach down here and get a couple of these other ones um, so here's another option I've recently just got these this is another real quick touch on the Magpul these are the D50 Gen M3 um, long rifle so this is a 50 round capacity on these right here for the rifle um, the rifle also does come optics ready that was another thing that was aggravating personally myself um, the rifle did not come with any kind of sights on it at all um, not that I have a problem adding some but I think that they should have found a way to potentially incorporate um, at least some steel sights on there or some kind of sights out of the box um, I know with Smith & Wesson they they uh, they leave everything open um, for customization um, that's part of their high quality process that they do because you can do so many different things um, with their products um, again it comes out of the box with a 20 round magazine um, it does have the manual safety on your lower receiver I'm trying to open up one of these drum mags to go ahead and show you guys um, so the overall length on the barrel is 16 inches the overall length of the firearm is going to be 34 inches uh, again as I mentioned it has no front sight no rear sight coming out of the box um, the action is gas operated semi-automatic um, you got to get this unwrapped for this drum magazine um, again as I mentioned on the stock that has a six position telescopic um, stock where you can open it um, the grip is synthetic on the firearm and it weighs 128 ounces um, or 3628 grams um, and the, the barrel material is 4140 steel um, again the rifling is 1 in 10 twist um, with the 5R rifling um, and you can use this for home protection hunting um, uh, competition shooting different sports I've got this uh, this D50 uh, Magpul 50 round drum mag um, out of the box now I had it sealed up I looked at it uh, when they came um, in a previous uh, video I don't know if I mentioned or not I don't think that I did but I had actually ordered um, it, it came by mistake or there was some kind of issue I initially thought that I had ordered the uh, the, the P mag D 50s here with Magpul and it actually ended up being the pro mag um, the pro mag drums that pro mag offers and I do have some of the pro mag magazines for some of my pistols and stuff like that I haven't had no issues out of the ones for my pistols but when um, I got the ones for this particular rifle and tried them into the uh, magwell they got stuck and I mean forcefully stuck so those have been sent back their drum magazines um, were a no-go for me um, that's just my honest opinion if anybody else has had um, any good luck with those on any types of rifles or drum magazines that you may have used um, drop down into the comments and and let me know what you think or what experience you had using those um, particular products with your firearms um, so back to this drum magazine here it's very well constructed um, again it's magpul it's got the uh, window on the back of it so you can kind of look in there and see where your ammunition is at um, on the front it does have an easy load tab where you can actually pull that over to the side um, for easy loading on the drum mag here um, it does have the rubber dust cover also that goes on top of it um, and in the box 
that it comes with. It's got the uh, the instruction manual and a sticker from Magpul, which is awesome. I can't have enough uh, firearm stickers. And uh, then they have the breakthrough clean technology multi-purpose quick wipes and it cleans lubricates and protects um, it is non-toxic odorless and the temperature range is negative 54 degrees all the way up to 281 degrees it comes with one wipe uh, eco-friendly product and another fine fact to know it is made in the United States I love stuff that's made in the United States. That is a very hard thing to find these days. Um, so on the back of that, it, I'm assuming it came in here so you could wipe down your drum. Um, the for use on firearms, tools, automotive, metal, locks, uh, marines, bicycling, archery, and home. Um, perfect for quick field applications, cleans, lubricates, and protects against rush corrosion and eliminates moisture and removes fingerprints odorless again non-toxic 100 percent then synthetic and will not gum up or freeze in extreme temperatures durable wipes that won't tear during cleaning um, again breakthroughclean.com is where those are from let's go ahead and put those back in the box um, again this is the uh, pmag d50 Gen M3 Magpul Industries, um, also made in the United States of America. Magpul, you're killing it for that and everything else. I'm going to go ahead and put that back in the box. Um, so, with that being said, I, you know, I got various different magazines. I got um, a few of those drum magazines to have um, not only I can run those in some other applications as well um, on some other 308s I also currently just selected and picked out a couple days ago at one of my local firearm shops um, again I'm up here in small town Indiana so another huge shout out to Jeff at McDonald's Guns up in Marion Indiana and also another huge shout out to in-laws and outlaws up in gas city indiana um, that is where this came from um, i recently found out about mcdonald's guns a guy at work was telling me about mcdonald's guns and uh, so i stopped in to check them out again this uh this smith and wesson did come from in-laws and outlaws up in gas city so um throughout a lot of the stuff going on right now in the world with the coronavirus and the COVID-19 pandemic, um, tensions are high and it's very frustrating for folks right now um, with the COVID stuff like that. I, I, I contracted the coronavirus back in May um, and I was pretty sick for almost a whole month. Um, I missed, you know, almost three weeks of work because of it I had I lost my taste and smell and had vision problems so that kind of uh, that was a real eye-opening awakening experience that I had um, you know all as well my wife and kids never tested positive for it um, so anyways with that going on and then just all the civil unrest and different things going on in the world right now with folks that are you know doing different things throughout the world violence and stuff like that in different cities um, you know there are some different things going on and there's good causes out there and there's bad causes out there but what I'd like to see at the end of each day is folks to come together the best that they can and just get along and treat everybody with uh, respect and dignity and I think that that would be a great start for folks to do that. Um, so I recently was mentioning that I found and selected the Springfield St. Victor also in 308 um, and then a M&P 
AR-15 or the M&P-15, um, which is actually going to match this particular uh, rifle here. They, they look pretty close in comparison in terms of how they look. Um, obviously one's in 308, the other one's in 223556. Um, I was very blessed and fortunate to find those other couple rifles, so I went ahead and uh, selected those, picked them out, and uh, there will be videos coming up on those also um, here in the near future. We're going to get some videos done on that. We're, we're going to go ahead and do some uh, customization on this here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get a scope on it and also a red dot we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, sorry we're gonna go ahead and get the handrail switched out um, the charging handle I want to get a wider one of those um, and I also may I'm not sure change out the stock on here um, I'm also gonna be doing a video coming up on this um, once I do get a scope on it, we'll do a video putting the scope on it possibly and then definitely we're going to be doing a video um, out at my shooting facility on the first impressions of firing the uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 10 um, Sport. That's what this is um, on the, the telescopic stock there. Um, there is your charging handle. Um, it's got the Picatinny rail there on the top, so it's got a lot of potential. And again, I'm I'm very partial to Smith and Wesson um, and what they have to offer. Let me go ahead and uh, put that back down there for a moment. Um, I just wanted to get another video made for you guys out there, um, the ones that have subscribed so far. Thank you so very much for your support and your your ongoing support. Um, my wife and kids I can't thank them enough um, for everything that they uh, give me each day um, happiness and uh, I couldn't I couldn't be a luckier man for that and then on top of that firearms um, that that's uh, that comes underneath of my wife and kids but um, you know family is number one uh, in my book and I can't I can't complain about my life or anything like that you know got a good job and um, you know I love my wife and kids and I get it get to do fun things with them um, coming up here in the fall we're actually going to go see the headless horseman and do a hayride the, so we're gonna do that um, but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and just say thank you very much again for those of you that have subscribed those of you that have watched the videos um, if you have any suggestions on our channel or any suggestions if you like our content um, drop down there in the comments and let me know I'll be more than willing to um, take ideas on videos and ideas that you may want to see um, or different firearms if you have any questions on anything I will do my very best to let you know any information that I currently have or that I can provide and if not I will do my best to get you the answer um, also wanted to do a shout out to the USCCA United States Concealed Carry Association um, recently uh, we have signed up for those services um, just because in this day and age uh, you never know what's going to happen um, so another shout out to them at the USCCA thank you very much um, on the uh, I believe the founder is Tim Stark don't quote me on that um, but you get a lot of fun awesome uh, educational information uh, weekly and monthly from them um, videos they offer literature and stuff like that so again I want to say thank you very much for those of you that have watched these videos and just uh, keep on coming back and I'm gonna continue to put in the effort to try to make these videos um, nice and neat I'm trying to take my time with it 
that away it's high quality or it's not